So I'm going to put something up on the screen right now. So if if you can, just just give give that a look. Give give this image a look. This is this is somebody who seems to be at a protest of some sorts at some kind of state uh, government building. A lot of these state government buildings in the United States of America look the same when you go to these bigger cities. They have some kind of park or some uh, plaza outside, some uh, podium with a sign, and, and, and then there's the, the same columns and things in the buildings. That's that's a regular common thing. I don't know the location of this, but this is posted by Anna L and Helen L I'm going to describe it to you. So she's 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 standing there with with a sign. She's wearing her mask. She's got her phone on the, in her hand, all on the sign. Um, if I hid black Americans in my uterus, would their lives finally matter? With Black Lives Matter hashtag Black Lives Matter on this side, and then um, there's other with with this quote that's posted in the actual post. There's there's hashtag Black Lives Matter hashtag police. Hashtag ACAB. I don't know what ACAB is. I'm not even going to. Oh no, I can't. I can't breathe. I, is that I can't breathe? No, ACAB. I'm not even going to look what ACAB is. Let let me look. Let, let me let me. I do I do this for you. Okay, I lied a bit. I, I do this for us because I, I like getting the actual information. I'm going to discuss this. I'm online. Might as well do it. I looked. It's all cops or bastards. Yes, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. Anna and Helen. Anna and Helen. I'm sure all cops are bastards. You have never personally ever actually felt the need to call the police. Like, I'm not saying there's white privilege, but just, it's like, do I think they've, maybe they, maybe they haven't. Maybe they live in such a secure life that they've never felt the need to ever need to call some kind of ma predominantly male security official. And then maybe, maybe they personally have had a life where they've dated someone in the police force or their parents, somebody around them was, and there's some high domestic violence and people in the police force because they go through stresses and just select for certain people. So I don't know. I don't know these two individuals, these two female individuals that I assume identify as female because it's not exactly just people of color, black people who have issues with police. These are these are individuals. There's some flawed individuals in the police force. I'm not trying to say that. But let's get back to this reading. It's all cops are bad. And then hashtag Jen Floyd. And then it's written there, edit, Helen is the person holding the sign in this picture with a smiley face. Now, this, 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 I'm assuming they're not trolling here. I'm assuming that this is a serious thing. This is my meme whisperer series where I go in and I read memes and different things that I find online and kind of discuss them. And in this one, I'm assuming they're also on the political left. And there's this whole thing about how the left can't meme. And I'm saying, you don't need to learn how to meme when you can actually become a meme. You, your life is the meme. I think these people are LARP. They live action. It's a lamp. I think I've said this before. They're live action meme playing. They just act out the meme. It's just a different form of expression. The way people on the political right and some other people do it with imagery and things like that, they live it. It's their lived experience. They lived experience their memes. Li lived memes, meme, meme experience or something. But regardless, it's taking them seriously. I'm just, riddle me this. If that black American in her uterus also had a black American in her uterus. There was a female black American in her uterus. Then would, would this person, Helen, would Helen then consider at this point why there is such a disproportionate abortion rate in that community? Would she consider the reasons for it and the actual effects of that? I, I'm not quite sure. I don't know, a friend of mine posted on it. I just... The, the, this this thing, part of why I'm doing this, there's so many, so many things going in with this. And I'm going to read you something about the abortion rates from the CDC. And this is from 2015, some time back. But before, just, just when we would talk about this, part of why I'm doing this, because I'm looking at this image and there's so much in there. And just the things that are going on. And I, I'm telling you, we are diverse human beings. This is why I'm an individualist. Because individualism and collectivism are just things. They just describe things. And then we say, what are these things? What are the realities of these things? How do we get to these things? When people say diversity is our strength, I'm like, what do you mean diversity is our strength? Just a simple one people say, if you have a table and you want to actually have a nice stable table, 
it's not positive to have diverse lengths on the actual legs. But if you have like a football team, then you want to have an American football team. You want to have people of diverse sizes, speeds, strengths, abilities, and things like that in order to actually achieve things. So yes, it can work in some places. But when it just comes to humanity, I think individualism is more a descriptor of what we are. Because even if you have a collective of people, there's still individuals with it that have their own diverse ways of looking at things. And this is an excellent example because I'm saying, what, what? What is she trying to say here? <laughs> and a friend, a friend, when I posted this on Facebook, the first said like something about the size of her uterus, like how big is your uterus? And then I went in, I was just joking. I was like, oh, you're not allowed to talk about her uterus. That's actually considered assault in some places. And it, and and the friend kind of thought like, okay, let me take this down. I was like, don't take that down. Like, why'd you take that down? I thought I was being serious because that's the current atmosphere that we live in. So when they're talking about this, this persecution, I'm like, okay, something horrible has happened. Yes. There's a myriad of things that goes into that. Yes, I don't know how many of those things she's seen, but the chances are of her seeing those same things and me seeing those same things and still having the... I'm wondering, from what I've seen, what has she seen that led for this sign to be a thing that she's trying to make some thing? And then, <laughs> it's like... So I, I told her, I was just kidding. No, no, I just, just put it up. Then it's like, okay... This is like, but, but uh, just joking to my aunt's response to he's just talking about how big is her uterus to actually be able to hide black people in it. I'm like, okay, first of all, yeah, that's a figurative thing. We're lulzing it. It's a meme. It's like this young lady may have projected her visual image of her anatomy into our minds, but it is still her body image. And we have not yet acquired appropriate consent to contemplate the physics of what she may or may not be implying because it's current here and all. It's it's kind of like it's 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 a smorgasbord of just stuff and mess and with all the serious things going on, this was just I've been I've been spending a lot of time looking at different things. And this this was just a bit of of just just of, I I think I think I okay. Let me just read you the serious stuff. This is from this is from the CDC. This is something, uh, CDC is the Center of Disease Control. They're, they're involved in medicine and things like this. Whether you agree with the CDC or not, they normally have pretty decently sourced things. I think this is something we can accept. People have seen the recent virus and things. People are doubting the actual numbers and things like that. How good is the actual state at doing this? But let's. I'm, I'm just going to read you what they have here about the abortion rates by race and ethnicity, just, just to kind of punctuate the point that I'm trying to make here. Among the 30 areas that reported cross-classified race-slash-ethnicity data in 2015, non-Hispanic white women and non-Hispanic black women accounted for the largest percentages of all abortions, 36.9% and 36% respectively. Now, just keep in mind this is not written as a society. Keep in mind the population sizes. United States of America, non-Hispanic white women would maybe be about... 25% of the population at least, then non-Hispanic black women would probably account for about, I want to say, 5 to 6% of the population at most. Okay, back to the reading. And Hispanic women and non-Hispanic women in other race category accounted for s smaller percentages, 18.5% and 8.7% respectively. Is the table here for that? Non-Hispanic white women had the lowest abortion rates, 6.8 abortions per 1,000 women aged 15 to 44 years, and ratio, which is 111 abortions per 1,000 live births, and non-Hispanic black women had the highest abortion rate, which is 25.1 uh, abortions per 1,000 women aged 15 to 44 years, and ratio, 390 abortions per 1,000 live births, and the data for 2015 are also reported separately by race and ethnicity in tables 13 and 14. Now, another thing that I've considered with some of these numbers, the same thing I talk about when people talk about divorces, they say, oh, this many people have had divorces. Well, one person can have multiple divorces, just like in this case, if they say the numbers of the people with the, who've had the abortions, the number of the women that in the certain age group have had abortions, they might not completely go in the same category, they might not match up to the actual numbers of abortions per 1,000 live births. Because if one woman, for example, has three abortions, that would count as three abortions in a community of 1,000 live births. But if you're counting it, it would only be 
one woman per thousand women if there was a thousand women in that place, if that makes any sense. Okay, so there's two more paragraphs here, and they're talking about some things that I consider somewhat positive or good news when it comes to this topic. And in many cases, whether you stand, wherever you stand on the abortion thing, I think it is preferable to not have unnecessary medical conditions. Whether you think hey, it's about two lives being lost, but even the females who are involved in this go through certain situations. It is, to me, an unfortunate situation in almost all cases where somebody gets in a situation where they have something like this happen to them, where they feel the need to actually go and get an abortion. There's very few assaults in that, but then there's a lot of situations where people aren't planning, aren't in a situation to control or haven't appropriately appropriately taken steps to put themselves in a position where they can handle ha giving birth to that person, giving birth to a child or having a child. And then, of course, the situations where the, the child has some conditions where you decide, I'm going to go through this. So just I think the fewer abortions being had, even for people who are, quote, pro-abortion, end quote, I don't think there's too many people who are out there on the pro-choice side who are like, yes, let's have as many as possible. They're kind of just like a lot of people happen to get pregnant in situations or they think they happen to get pregnant, even though I might debate the use of happen to in this and kind of put more agency. But regardless, I think even the most ardent pro-choice people, if you actually talk to them and have them define their position, they're not saying we need to get as many people into situations where they want to have, they don't want to increase in actual abortions. They're just saying that they happens to be in certain groups of people. They might just in general be an increase of situations where abortions are preferable to having a child. And I think there's a lot better ways. I, I would prefer going for other ways to avoid those situations Rather than just be like, hey, yeah, here it's it's an option. You know, it should be really a last a last uh, ditch effect. So regardless, I think with all with those people on the pro choice, people who are anti abortion and things like that, they they would they would see these figures here where there's an actual reduction, and they're talking about this between 20, 2007 and twenty fourteen. They went on the different races and said. Um, for the, th for the women in the three largest race slash ethnicity groups, abortion rates decreased both from 20, 2007 uh, to 2010 and from 2011 to, 20, to 2015, although the decreases were greater during the later period, which, which is good, seems to be trending down. The abortion rate decreased 10% for non-Hispanic white women from 9.4 to 8.5 abortions per 1,000, 4% for non-Hispanic black women from... 36.5 to 34.9 abortions per 1,000, and 10% for Hispanic women from 21 to 19.0 per 1,000. Then by contrast, from 2011 to 2015, abortion rates decreased 19% for Hispanic uh, white women, 20% for non-Hispanic black women, and 31% for Hispanic women, which I think is a good thing. I, I, I don't know. They, they could, you, maybe we could debate and talk and you might actually be able to find some things of some explanations of why it's not a good thing. But I, I, as I mentioned, I think it's a positive thing. It seems a lot of people actually do these actual procedures. Some people, there's been reports of doctors and practitioners who go through this and then it's, it gets to a situation. I, there's, there's actual studies showing their females actually go through this because in many cases, whether it's more by choice, you're probably not in an appropriate. I just think it, it's it's a big thing to have a child. It's it's a major thing. Some some people won't be able to have kids later on after they have these procedures. For for but in general, if you're doing something like this, that is such a positive thing for so many people, and you get to the point where you don't when you feel you're not in a position to go through with it, chances are there might be other things in your life that are not as positive. Yes, we have those stories where someone's like, oh, now I'm rich and wealthy and successful and I did this in part because I had an abortion back then. And eh, I don't know. I don't know. Like if, if I told you like someone like Lil Wayne came out and was like, okay, the police violence situation isn't that bad. Like we should we should take a pause on this and kind of not just be out there in the streets because there's different things going on. He talks about a policeman that saved his life. I know when he was a kid, when he was like in his teens, he shot himself and he was he was involved in things a lot different way. And so he has a different take. So if you look at him and you say, like, oh look, Lil Wayne said a policeman saved his life when he was a kid, so we're going to discount your actual concerns about the police brutality going on right now. You'd say, No, forget that. Like the police brutality going on is 
is still a thing. So don't point at the, the few examples of supposedly rich and wealthy and happy people who go out and say, oh, I wouldn't have been able to achieve this unless I had an abortion. Like that's, that's, that's a different thing. So now just to finish off here, so the abortion ratio also decreased. The ratio is different, um, which is the numbers. An abortion ratio decreased for 18% for non-Hispanic white women from 132 to 108 abortions per 1,000 live births. 20% for non-Hispanic black women from 501 to 403 abortions per 1,000. Let me repeat that number again. In 2011, it was 501 abortions per 1,000. That means, wherever you, wherever you want to think of, <laughs> of the actual point of conception, if we, it just happens. You don't pick your parents. Like, I, I didn't pick my parents. Whatever the conception happens. But whenever a, 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 a sperm cell fertilized the egg cell in, in the uterus, of a black woman in at least from the figures that were actually found in these places in 2011 you had a little less just a fraction less than a third chance to actually to, to just not exist like by by choice of the person whose uterus you are in that that's that's pretty high, and then to close off, twenty eight percent for Hispanic women, which was two hundred eleven, down to one fifty two. So just these numbers alone. Then I just did a quick look, and I looked at to see just some stats they had online about how many police, how many unarmed black men were shot. I didn't actually go into the details of the things of what happened in twenty fifteen. I think the number was. A 100 about then, and that was still under Barack Obama after six, seven to eight years of Barack Obama. So if it was still structural racism, what did Barack Obama do to that? He's saying this is now because of Trump going on right now. And the figures for 2019, unarmed black men actually killed by policemen was under 10. So there is a bit of a discrepancy with the numbers and the concern to... Um, to Helen, Helen, um, you, you might mean well. You might think you're helping. I see you wearing black. I, I, I see your friend Anna has her face there. I don't know if she posted this on Tuesday, but it seems like you'd be the sort who would have posted something on Blackout Tuesday. I know you think you're helping. I don't know what you think you're helping, though. Part of, part of why I keep making this content, I'm, I'm trying to get some understanding. And with this one, I feel that sometimes with some of these ideas, it's almost like... It's an idea that's been aborted in utero, where this idea hasn't actually had a chance to actually grow up to a point where it can be birthed out into the world in a way where it can be raised and thought. So maybe there's just something that I'm, I'm seeing something and not really seeing the life behind it. It hasn't had the chance to actually grow up. So there might be something here that, that has potential to be something else. Let me know. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Links below to the merchandise store. There'll be more of these. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say.